Here we're asked to graph negative 2x plus 5y equals 20. Let's begin by finding the equivalent in slope-intercept form. In other words, let's solve for y. Here, we can isolate 5y if we add 2x to both sides. That leaves us with 5y equals 2x plus 20. Dividing both sides by 5, we then have y equals, now remember, 5 is a common denominator. So we're going to divide both of these terms by 5. And that leaves us with 2 fifths x plus 4. Now here's the equivalent in slope-intercept form. By inspection, we can tell the y-intercept, in this case, is 0, 4. 4 is the y-value, the y-intercept. The slope, measured as rise over run, in this case, is the coefficient of the variable x. Here we have 2 fifths. That's your rise, so my rise is 2 and my run is 5. With the slope and the y-intercept, we can easily graph the line. We begin with the y-intercept, 0, 4. From the y-intercept, if we mark off the slope, we can find a second point on the line. In this case, we rise 2 units and run 5 units. The second point on the line here is 5, 6. Now, to finish, we connect the dots with a straight edge. At this point, we've graphed the line. But it also asked us to label the x-intercept. From the graph, it appears that the x-intercept is negative 10, 0. Let's verify that algebraically. Remember, to find the x-intercept, we set y equal to 0. In this case, we'll have negative 2x plus 5 times 0 equals 20, or negative 2x equals 20. If we divide both sides by negative 2, we're left with x equals negative 10, as we expected. So the x-intercept is negative 10, 0. And we can label that on the graph here as requested.